Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing the update to the musical Panning Project Pan. This was created by the gorgeous Mary. When I say gorgeous, I do mean inside and out. Uh, she just, oh, I love her. I love her makeup. I love her hair. I love her animals. <laughs> and uh, she is Patriot Makeup here on YouTube. She does have an Instagram, Instagram as well. But like this will tell you the kind of person that she is. She doesn't post on Instagram. She literally just set up the account so she could support her friends. I mean, doesn't that tell you all you need to know about a person? She's just lovely. And uh, this started on January 2nd and it is rolling until January 3rd of 2020. 23 and it is a rolling style with monthly updates and what she has done is she's gone from the 1940s up to the 2020s crazy and um she has chosen a number of songs three songs i think it is from each decade and linked a prompt to them and because i love music i thought oh mary thank you can't wait i love it so the minute i saw it going up i was like yep yeah, I mean, and um, she also said as well, um, she has given free reign that if you would like to add one of your own songs to each decade with a prompt to feel free to do so, which I think is lovely because it means um, you get to put in a song wave that means something more to you and you can explain why and it just kind of opens up the, the project a little bit more and gets us all talking more about the wonderful world of music. Uh, before I get into my update, I want to say very quickly, I was watching Nona's channel. Now, if, you, if you're Project Pan for the length of time, even though Nona isn't a Project Panner, she's a wonderful supporter of the Project Pan community. Uh, Nona's Budget Beauty, I think, is her channel. I'm going to just double check here. But I was watching a video of hers that she recently had up. Uh, yeah, known as Budget Beauty and More. So she does a lot of videos on Budget Beauty, obviously, as, as the name says, uh, like Dollar Tree hauls and all that kind of stuff. Um, but she recently put up a lovely video and it is called um, New Coping Strategy. And it's basically with regards to being overwhelmed and undermotivated, etc. And I just really appreciated the video because first of all she was very open about her mental health etc and her disabilities and i don't know if some of you know this or not because i have spoken about it in the past but i do suffer from anxiety and depression and i do take medication for it i am not the least bit ashamed of that i do see a counselor as well um i'm quite proud of the fact that i went and i got help and you know what i mean i'm trying to actively do something about it and I just think it's important to be very open about these things because uh, mental health is just as vital as physical health, if not more so. Because if, you, if your mental health isn't strong, then it's very hard to deal with physical health. And I have a lot of physical health issues as well, which did kind of, you know, bring on the mental health, you know, depression and anxiety side of things. So I take medication uh, for my anxiety and depression. I take medication for my pain that I suffer. And... Um, some days the achievement is literally getting out of bed and having my breakfast and washing the dishes and doing my skincare and that is it and that is enough you we have to i know it's fantastic to be positive and go for it and go for your goals and all that kind of stuff yes 100 percent, i understand that but i also think it's vitally important to say sometimes you don't need to go for your goals you need to just go do you know what what i did today was enough it was enough it, it wasn't i didn't let anybody down i didn't uh not do enough i didn't reach this 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 and this goal i don't know if i'm making sense but i hope you understand and i just think we need to be kinder to ourselves we need to be to celebrate the small things you know what i mean we don't have to have the biggest car the biggest house the biggest tv the the you know we don't we don't need all that. We don't need it. We need each other. We need friends. We need this beautiful community that we have. And and we need to enjoy sitting down and putting on a face of makeup. Or I love, I love wood pigeons. I 
feckin' love wood pigeons. They do something to my soul. When I hear a wood pigeon, my husband always laughs because I have to stop and just close my eyes and just listen because it's just, to me, one of the most beautiful sounds in the world and it lifts my soul and I will take the time to just stop and listen and appreciate something as simple as a coo of a wood pigeon. So I just wanted to share that with you. I just wanted to say that there's no shame in it and I appreciate Nona doing that video and being very open and candid. It was really appreciated and some days you really need to hear that and I hope I hope you're not having one of those days, but if you are, I hope you hear this and you go, yeah, do you know what? It was enough that I got up today and I just, you know, got dressed. That was enough. That that was an achievement today on a day when I felt like I couldn't get out of bed. And you know what? There's some days as well where you just can't get out of bed and that is fine too. Some days you need to take those days and just go with it and then try again the next day. Okay, we're going to get on with the update. I'm sorry, I just, I felt like after watching her video, it just inspired me to just say this. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry that we're six minutes into the video and I haven't got cracking yet, but here we go. Uh, so the first one is in the 1940s, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Judy Garland, and it is a colourful item. And I have in the Soap and Glory, the Scrub of Your Life, Smoothing Body Scrub. <laughs> And I've had this in since it was brand new and I'm right down to here. I literally only have, I'd say I'm going to have to cut this open because it's quite thick because it's a salt scrub. Um, so I think I'm going to have to cut it open for the last bit and that's fine. I, I want to get every last bit out of it because I love it. It is a gorgeous body scrub. I will repurchase this. I love it. Love the smell of it. Love the feel of it. Love everything about it. So that is staying in probably till the next update. I have used it 15 times to date. Uh, next up is the 1950s and for that we have Walk the Line by Johnny Cash and for that uh, she said an eyeliner or lip liner and I had brought in the NYX professional, pro professional, professional makeup epic ink liner in black waterproof now okay but like it says it's waterproof so I suppose that means if you start to cry or something, it wouldn't come off. I don't know. My problem with this is it completely and utterly floods my lower line. So if I do a line here, and I've tried so many different ways, and thank you to everyone that's given me tips on that. I've tried putting um, powder, black eyeshadow over it, but it just completely floods my bottom waterline and into the corner of my eyes, something ferocious. I don't know how to get around this. So I'm actually going to declutter this, which is a pity. But look, at I have other liners in my collection. This is a brush tip, I would imagine, because I can see little bits of brush, yeah. Um, maybe brush tip isn't the one for me. Maybe this brand isn't the one for me. I'm not quite sure. All I know is it's just not working for me when I put it. Like, I will, I've tried not to get too close to my lashes. I've tried... Um, you know, tight lightening first with a different thing and then putting this on, thinking it might cause a barrier. It didn't. It just completely, all I can see when I put it on is my bottom here and even my eye, uh, the white of my eye is full of black. It just, it's awful. So I'm going to declutter this, unfortunately. So I had used it 10 times. So I gave it a good go, guys. I didn't just like use it once and go, oh, she's gone. I gave it 10 goes. So I'm going to bring in something new. And what I'm bringing in is um, the song Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny, uh, an item you put on before bed. And I have chosen the Inkulist Lactic Acid. Here it is here. That little black mark is where we are starting from and I want to use this completely. I don't use it every single night. Um, I have different actives and stuff like that. I have an AHA serum and I have a retinol, so I don't use them together obviously. So it might get used maybe four, five, four times a week maybe. Um, I use it kind of as my toner at night. Um, so that is coming in and I want to finish it. Uh, next up is the 1960s and it was sitting on the dock of the bay by Otis Redding. I just love that song. Uh, item that makes you feel chill and I chose face mask. So I had in the Boots Glow Gel Mask. This is it here and I have completely used it up. That is completely empty. There is nothing 
left in it i got eight uses now it did only come in it was up here when it came in so i had used it previously um so it's not like it was brand new uh used to day times didn't particularly like this didn't feel it did anything particularly much for me um so i won't be repurchasing it and that's fine but it's done and dusted look at it didn't affect my skin adversely so that's a good uh so coming in is people are strange when you're a stranger faces look ugly when you're alone <laughs> Fucking Sorry, shouldn't be sorry. I just love it. <laughs> I apologize for singing because I can't sing enough. But I, when I was young, I never needed it. Stop! How do you do that? I drive my husband mad at that. He'll say something, and if he pauses for even a split second, I'm in with a song, and he's like, "I'm going to kill you." <laughs> um, my sister and I used to share a bedroom, and there's six years between us. So as you can imagine, when I was only about 10 or 11, I went through my black phase because Noreen was going through her black phase. So Ruth was subjected to it too. But you know what? It gave me such a love of things like the stranglers and the doors and musicians like that. I always attribute like my family have made such a, an impact on me with regards to music. Um, you know, each one has given me a love for a different type of music or a different band or, you know, whatever it may be. And I love that. Um, so, yeah, the doors, people are strange. And I have brought in, this is, basically, it is a strange product. And this is a water-activated colour from Barry M. A high-vis water-activated colour. And I won't lie, I don't even know what to rightly do with this. I know I think you spray water and you have a little pointy brush and you use it as liner. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely out of my comfort zone, definitely very strange for me. And um, I'm bringing it in for 10 uses because I'm currently still trying to work on my purples. Purple just doesn't want to seem to leave my collection at the moment. It seems to want to be in it. This is in the shade of Wavelength. Um, I haven't done it today, but, like, this is, you know, I have a lot of purples on because my Fifty Shades of Purple is coming to an end. I have purple in my pan those eyeshadows i have a purple in my panners pan for misty so there's a lot of purple going on in my life at the moment so i said well right well let's get another purple item that will tie in so yeah hmm. i'm excited to see how i get on with this or whether it's a complete and non-mitigated disaster trip it is it is what about in a crack it'll be fine uh so next up is the 1970s do you remember the 21st night of September. I can't sing, so stop doing it. Uh, 1970s is September by Earth, Wind and Fire. This is the, one of those songs. Do you know if it came on in a nightclub? <laughs> As if they'd be playing this in a nightclub. Do you know what I mean? We used to actually have in Limerick years ago. We used to have... Was it a 60s night or a 70s night? But it was all disco. It was all old school disco. Oh, Jesus, I used to love that place. Boogie Wonderland, that's what it was called. Oh man, the music. I do, If that starts playing, you will not get me off the dance floor. Just, I think that possibly I may have died of an overdose in the 70s. And that's why I have such a love for it. I don't know. I just, it's just a feeling I have. So I'm so sore now from all the dancing I did back in the 70s. I didn't dislocate of my hips. I don't know. Uh, I'm very giddy today, guys. I do apologize. Um, so what am I in for this, Ruth? Oh, yes. I have uh, an item that makes you feel good. And this made me feel sublime. This is the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And this was gorgeous. Thank you, Courtney. For the recommendation because I feckin loved it oh I'm getting another one of these for sure not right now because France but I love the packaging it's gorgeous glass solid packaging the dropper worked the whole way to the bottom of the jar when does that ever happen never um it was divine to put on my skin just went <sighs> ah, loved it it just thought yeah that's lovely, Ruth. Thanks very much for giving me a drink. I adored it. I will certainly be repurchasing this. So that is done. I've had a great update. Um, so in for that is Lean On Me. 
by Bill Withers. What an absolute beautiful song. I adore that song. I think that's why I kind of, the mental health thing today, because I find music really helps my mental health. I'm doing really bad. If I put on a couple of upbeat songs or even songs I just love to sing along to, it just lifts my mood. But this one anyway is an item a friend gave you. I'm so excited. <laughs> my darling friend, Deb, I love you. It's bra long too. She very kindly gifted me this sensational palette from Glamlight. It is the cake palette that comes in its own little oven. Can you actually stand how cute it is? And, um, oh my God, look at it. Look at it. I've been just mad to play with it. But I kind of, I feel like it's more of a spring summer palette. And um, I think we're, we're, we're in the season. We're in the season. Here it is here. Look, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Prepare yourselves. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It is all beautiful and fun and just, I love it. Oh, I can't wait to play with it. Oh, so this is coming in for no pan left behind, which means I need to use every shade at least once before I can roll it out and I cannot beckon wait oh it is so beautiful and so pretty <laughs> thank you deb uh next up is the 1980s and for the 80s i am uh oh i chose an irish song because i had met my goal on the one previous and i chose you two's with or without you uh, a product you love but hate so you're torn between it and I chose sheet masks because I am torn by them because I enjoy using them immensely. They relax me and I just, it forces me to sit down because you can't really go around doing stuff with these masks on. You have to sit down and relax and just chill. And, uh, but they're very environmentally unfriendly. Uh, they're one use items. The sheet mask itself, unless you can find biodegradable ones, are made from th th that sheet. It's like a face wipe. It's plastic. They, they are made of plastic fibres. Um, so they don't break down. It takes hundreds of years for them to break down. But anywho, um, I had a pack of five and I have since used three of them. Un, deux, trois. Uh, so I have two more to use before I roll them out. So I'm delighted with that. Uh, next up are the 1990s. Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Just beautiful. I believe Jen um, from Project Beauty, uh, this was her wedding dance song. She chose it and I just thought, oh, I love that. That's fantastic. Uh, an item you'll miss when it's gone. And I'm using the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine in 658 plus here it is here I do have it on today lovely kind of sheeny beautiful I have a little bit of a pink gloss over it. um but yeah it doesn't have that it's still a sweet scent but it's not as sickly sweet as a lot of L'Oreal lipsticks have been in the past um and I have a goal of 22 uses on this and I've used it nine times so she will be staying in as well Next up, we have the 2000s, so fresh and so clean, clean, but outcast, can't say it, can't say it any other way. I can't do it. I can't just say, so fresh and so clean. Because we so fresh and so clean, clean. Becky loved outcast. I really loved them. Uh, item that makes you feel put together. And I chose a lip liner because I cannot do any sort of lipstick, lip gloss, lip liquid lipstick without a lip liner I need a liquid or no I need a lip liner uh, and I have chosen the CYO line them up in tripper and this is uh goes really well with the lipstick I have it's kind of a brownie nude um gives a very 90s kind of feeling when you wear them together I really enjoy that and uh I have used this 11 times uh, so I have a goal of 22 so another 11 to go so that will be staying in uh, for the 2010s, 2010, no way you want to say it. Again, I have an Irish song and it is the Coronas Give Me a Minute. Beautiful song. And one of the lines is, my everything is so much nicer with you in it. Uh, a product you love in your routine. And love, need, I suppose, really is more 
accurate and it is an eyebrow pencil because I have no brows whatsoever because the 90s um, and I have the Juvia's Place eyebrow pencil in and I have this in to finish it. I have used it 25 times and still a ton of product. There's a lot of product in this. I'm very impressed. Um, quite a bit of product in it. So I'd say that's another, gosh, that could be two, three months worth of products left. We shall see. Maybe two. Um, so that will be staying in. Come back to me. Thank you. And what are we next? Oh yeah, 2020s is uh, Skate by Anderson, Pack and Bruno Mars. And it is an item you would wear at the roller rink or while roller skating. And I have said, because if I went to the roller rink, it tends to start to fall down a lot. Quite a lot. And therefore I would need protection. SPF, aka sun protection. See? See how I got there? Got there in the end, guys. I'll get there in the end. Uh, this is the Amber Solaire by Garnier Anti Dryness Anti, oh no, Super UV, blah, 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 50 plus SPF for your face. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, the weather, we had some beautiful weather for a few days. It's gone back to being Baltic, but uh, I've used it 13 times and I've used 14 grams of product. So we're tipping along nicely. Uh, I can't see through the packaging, so I don't know how much is left. And it's full of air. But I, I reckon I still have a good month or two left in this. Because like I said, I only wear it when I'm actually outside and it's actually sunny. Um, but yeah, so that is it. And that is it. That is my update for this project. Uh, how are you getting on with it? Are you enjoying it? Are you having fun with all the songs? And just, oh, just love it. Thank you so much, Mary, for doing this. I love it. Um... But yeah, that's it for today's update, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, apologies for the rant at the beginning. I know that's probably not what you came for, but I hope it helps somebody. Uh, but yeah, I'll chat to you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slon.